Vatican City, can a country with deep Christian roots like Mexico find itself at the mercy of demons? Some in the church fear so. And as a result, they called for a nationwide exorcism of Mexico, carried out quietly last month in the Cathedral of San Luis Potosi. High levels of violence, as well as drug cartels and abortion in the country, were the motivation behind the special rite of exorcism, known as Exorcismo Magno. Cardinal Juan Sanduval Inigas, the Archbishop Emeritus of Guadalajara, presided at the closed doors ceremony, the first ever in the history of Mexico. Also participating were Archbishop Jesus Carlos Cabrero of San Luis Potosi, Spanish demonologist and exorcist Father José Antonio Forta, and a smaller group of priests and lay people. The event was not made known to the general public beforehand. According to Archbishop Cabrero, the reserved character of the May 20 ceremony was intended to avoid any misguided interpretations of the ritual. But how can an entire country become infested by demons to the point that it's necessary to resort to an exorcismo magno? To the extent sin increases more and more in a country, to that extent it becomes easier for the demons to tempt, people, the Spanish exorcist warned that to the extent there is more witchcraft and Satanism going on in a country, to that extent there will be more extraordinary manifestations of those powers of darkness. Fr. Forte said that the exorcism performed in San Luis Potosi is the first ever carried out in Mexico in which the exorcists came from different parts of the country and gathered together to exorcise the powers of darkness, not from a person, but from the whole country. This rite of exorcism, beautiful and liturgical, had never before taken place in any part of the world. Although it had taken place in a private manner as when St. Francis, exorcised, the Italian city of Arezzo, he stated, 